What's up everyone? So you all already know I do run an AMCAS group and that's pretty much helping current people who are applying to medical school right now uh, pretty much get their questions answered. And one of the questions that comes up all the time is how to use Interfolio. And I know that this question is going to be recurring over and over again. So here's a video today made from my friend Jean who actually applied last cycle and got into medical school. And she walks you through exactly how to use the Interfolio web service to rec request your recommendation letters, uh, then ultimately send them to AMCAS. So it'll be an informative video. Let's do it. Hi everyone. Okay, so my name is Jing Wu and today I'm going to be explaining how to send a letter of rec to AMCAS using Interfolio. So I applied to medical school the last cycle and I remember doing Interfolio and everyone was just like, yeah, just use Interfolio, but it can be a little bit confusing if it's your first time using it. So I hope that this video will be helpful. Okay, so the first step is to ask your recommender if they can write you a strong letter of recommendation. So I did this around February of the application cycle, and you might want to let them know that you'll be using Interfolio and kind of explain how it works because some of the recommenders may have not used Interfolio. You might want to explain that they'll receive a link later, which they'll be able to submit their letter to. Okay, so once your recommender agrees to write the letter, the next step is to use Interfolio to send a request. So we're gonna, we're gonna go to Interfolio and then we're going to go to Letters and then we are going to go to Request a Letter. So let's pretend I'm requesting a letter from Judy Hall, who was my boss as part of the USC SI program. So if I were requesting a letter from her, I would go here and then I already have her as a contact but if I didn't have her as a contact I could go to add new contact and put in all this information um, but I have her as a contact so I'm just going to enter her name so then next the document title you can keep it or I'm just going to say Medical School Letter of Rec from Judy. And it's confidential. And then just setting them a due date as a reminder. I believe I put the due date around like mid-June around that time. And then the generic rec recommendation. And also any supporting materials you want to add such as like a resume or whatever. And after you do that, you're just going to press send request. I'm not going to press send request because I don't want her to write me another recommendation letter. But essentially, after you press that, your recommender, for example, Judy, will receive a link and then she'll be able to submit her letter of rec to that link and you won't be able to see it. So after you check Interfolio and you see that your letter has been completed, then you're going to go to AMCAS and get your letter request form. So to get the letter request form, we're going to sign in. Um, this is my old application. And then we are going to go to the letters of evaluation. So we were using Judy as an example. So let me find hers. Yeah, so Miss Judy Hall. So I'm going to press letter request form and then this form is going to pop up and I'm going to want to download it because I need this letter ID to um, put into Interfolio and I'm also going to attach this form into Interfolio so that Interfolio can match the letter back to AMCAS. Okay, so after you download your letter request form, the next step is to deliver the letter from Interfolio to AMCAS. So we're going to go back to Interfolio and then we're just going to go to Deliveries and New Delivery. So it looks a little weird, but essentially you go to Find an Opportunity and then you just type in AMCAS. And your application cycle is going to be 2021. Um, the 2021 was my application, so you just click here. 
Okay, so I can't actually start the application to show you guys like the whole thing because I would have to pay the $50 for the upgrade, but you do have to pay to be able to send. But essentially what you're going to do is you're going to want to attach the same letter request form that you got from AMCAS onto this application for Interfolio. And you also want to use this ID number. Um, later, Interfolio will prompt you and it will say letter ID and it'll be the letter ID of the letter request form. And then that allows you to send your letter for Interfolio and for them to match it back to AMCAS. Okay, so the final step is to then go back to AMCAS and make sure that your letter was received. Okay, so that's about it. It's pretty straightforward once you get the hang of it. But if I did miss anything, please do let me know. And also, if you're applying to medical school this cycle, you can join this Facebook group called the 2020-2021 AMCAS Squad, where us current and accepted medical students are answering questions, and it's a really cool community. So yeah, I hope this is helpful.